How's it guys? Good morning. Welcome to our last morning in Italy. We're in a bit of a rush this morning because, well, not because of this, but I mean, look at this, but because our flight is at a certain time, we've got limited time, and we need to make sure we get our flight. Long story short. Have a look at Lake Como this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Whew. I didn't really give you guys a room tour of um, our room, although it is a bit messy because we're packing up. Let me just give you a quick whiz around from the front door. We've got double bed, very nice little desk, very nice. And a little balcony, which you guys have seen each morning and so I went into the bathroom. All very nice. I would recommend this place. I'm gonna have some orange juice. It's very good. I make myself a coffee and get to have some tea. Using the world's biggest Nespresso machine to make myself a little cappuccino. I officially love making coffee in a glass now. Well, from a machine. Okay, checking out. If you didn't believe me about the bathroom, there it is. We had one. I also have another view of the bathroom. No, 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 no. We've got to go. We've got to go, we've got to go, we've got to go. Unfortunately, we had planned to stop in Lake Como, but it doesn't look like that will happen anymore. I'm going to the toilet. Oh, my turn. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we might not have time to stop in Lake Como. I still cannot get over this place, okay? Hotel Velo Aurora. Uh, besides the Saturday night noise, but I mean, it's Saturday night and there's a bar next door, so you can't really complain about that. Besides that, saying that it was established in 1965, the restaurant, which is just this bit here, was really good. The service has been really good. The room with this view has been really good. I mean, look at that, look down there. I love that kind of thing, you know, where you're seeing the layered mountains as they fade off into the distance. It's very, just very picturesque. And you've got a little town over there. I don't know what the town is, but yeah, this place was the cheapest by quite a bit um, on booking.com for these dates. And we have no idea how we got it because when Sav went to go and try to find the name of the place by looking up another reservation, the next available reservation here was like April next year, which is hardcore considering we're going into winter. So that means it's not even peak season and it's booked out for half a year. But I can see why, because it's really, it's really nice. Really, just really, really, really nice. And you can watch the cars go by if you want. We didn't make use of it, but you've got these little chairs as well on the balcony, so you can sit with your flowers, and if you bring your own drinks, you can chill, have a beer, and watch the, the ocean. It's not the ocean. Although I wouldn't mind if somebody named an ocean after Lake Como, because then it would be a commotion. Okay, we're gonna leave. Sav saying her emotional final goodbyes to Italy and Lake Como. She's also using this new app that she's in love with, Huji. I love it. We'll do a whole nother episode on that another time. I don't I changed my mind. I don't think I wanna go actually. No, I don't wanna go either. Okay. That's Dad, that then. Dad, yeah. <laughs> Check here. Here's the floating thing that we saw on the way in. Arrived in Como, but we don't have time to actually stop here, which is a pity. But Sav, I had one very important question for you, and it's a serious question. Mm-hmm. Are people from Como referred to as commotions? <laughs> because that that makes sense to me. Okay, here we go. 2.30. Sure. Bit steep. Grazie. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. So we had a bit of a mix up with our flights, didn't we, Sav? Yes. Yeah, not the biggest train smash, but it just means that Sav is departing from Milano Malpensa and I am departing from Milano Linate, mm -hmm. which are two airports that are about an hour apart. <laughs> so. And we only found, found this out last night at half 11. Yeah, good thing we checked. Good though. thing I reminded you. Good and, thing and we checked. As a team, was, we did it. Yeah, we and good checked. thing I asked you, which airport are you flying out of so I can fly out of the same one? And then you got, you made a mistake, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cheers, I'll see you in Paris. Bye. Bye-bye, Sav. Here we go, we got another toll. How much is the damage this time? 170? 
grazie. Arrivederci. Oh no. Oh, and another one. Come on, DJ Khaled. Another one. Let me see if I can catch her a seat this time. <laughs> Got that? Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, okay. Grazie. So obviously this being a rental car, I need to fill up the tank before I return it. And uh, I was wondering which petrol station I could use, and then I googled it and they said I could use any. I pulled up, I parked the car, and I went into the shop to just ask if I needed to pay before, what the deal was, and which one of these is unleaded. I'm guessing like blue, super, and super are probably the unleaded considering these two both say diesel. Shop assistant said that she will come and help me, so I'll just wait for her. Jesus Christ, I'm in a panic now because this guy almost just put diesel in and now I'm questioning myself as to whether it was unleaded or not. I was told by Nicolo and the others that Italy has quite expensive petrol. So here you go, price per liter, it's almost two euros. Um, I think I'm probably paying a premium because I stopped on the motorway, which I was told not to do, but the airport is just around the corner. Also, in my little panic, I did have a look here and I am interpreting this petrol sign with PB to mean unleaded. Whew, that was a close one. He just grabbed the diesel, he was gonna pop that right in there. I've turned the car on and it hasn't exploded yet, which is good news. It sounds like everything's functioning as normal. So we're good, okay. Car dropped back off at Maggiore and just a heads up because uh, this was something I, hang on. So the car for three days online through like one of the search engine things was showing for like 16 euros. So I was like, sweet, okay. I knew that it was too good to be true because I figured it wouldn't include something like insurance or whatever. It did come with the basic insurance, but the basic insurance had a 1,000 euro excess. So if anything happens to the car, you're still paying 1,000 euros. So at the end of that, all three days with the car and an airport change and transfer, transfer it came to 120 something euros, excluding obviously the petrol that we had to put in it. So, yeah, just watch out. If you're doing car rental stuff, the price that you see online can be the final price, but unlikely that it will be, because it can be risky. I'm not gonna film while I'm in there, because I'm pretty sure they don't like that, but I wonder how many times they've had a pizza go through security. <laughs> Silly ad, because her name is still not Joy. This gentleman was sitting next to me, and how badass is his backpack? Like, worn leather. He's got such style, he must be Italian. For the last time, here we go! to Orly, not bad, we're here, as we say out here, son arrivé. We were waiting for our luggage and I wasn't paying attention, I was just on my phone and I became one of those people. I'm accidentally one of the people who's standing right next to the conveyor belt. Apologies everybody behind me, I'm not going to film them because it'll be super awkward. But now also I can't move away because, here we go. I'm here, I'm home, ish. And here we are, back to Paris. Same old familiar sights, same old familiar views, same old construction job. I'll be honest with you, I think that it is very unlikely anything exciting will happen within the rest of the day, or the rest of the afternoon. And odds are that I will just forget that I was vlogging today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign out here and I'm just gonna take a quick second to say thank you 
all for watching uh, my Italy series, um, partly with SAV, but mostly with the Lombardia Tourism Board in Lombardia and all of the guys that they brought along and the Gira, the little tuk-tuks. Oh, what a vibe. What, a, what an amazing trip. What an amazing country, actually. I'd wanted to go to Italy, but I'll be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't on the top of my list of places that I wanted to go to. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. Pizza and pasta. Why would you not? Why would that not be the top of your list? But after going to Milan with Heineken, I was like, okay, I really want to go back. And getting to go back now was a pretty cool opportunity. So very stoked that that happened. Hopefully something like that will happen again in the future. But yeah, thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, if you're new, if this series is what brought you to my channel, feel free to click on the subscribe button. That'll pop up now. Uh, otherwise, feel free to watch another video. If you haven't seen them all, then you've always got time for one more. Um, <laughs> cool, I will check you guys soon for another slice of math.